Okay, so from there's oil everywhere. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cam cover off, which is not pretty well attached anyway, and then I want to get this uh, pulley off of the crank. Okay, and I will, uh, I will first look at the timing belt and system in the motor. Ah, okay, so it actually doesn't look too bad. The belt looks as though it was pretty recent to when this stopped running. So just to take you through what's happening here, um, the crankshaft at the bottom of the pistons and the conrods uh, is turned over here. So this is sort of the power input to this system it comes from over here. Um, it has a oil pump uh, which comes from here and then picks up motor from uh, picks up oil from the sump, pumps it to the motor. This is the camshaft pulley, and this is the tensioner. Which, as the belt ages and stretches, the tensioner will then move further over, keeping the tension in the cable. That one looks like it won't give a fight. This is the, the one big issue with the motor that's been standing outside for two years is everything that's exposed to the elements is just through and through crusted joined together. Okay, so we're going to come back to that later. And you can see as soon as I loosen that bolt, the belt becomes absolutely free. Just a quick demonstration, this is the tensioner that will be going back in, and you can see the old one. So the center piece stays, and it's just the outer piece that gets replaced. And in actual fact, this one is in really good condition. There's no cracks on it, it doesn't seem to be worn, but it's old as the hill, so we're going to replace it. The cam pulley, it's actually just a very simple pressed piece of steel. Well, it's not steel, I don't know what it is. It is time to get into the inside of the motor now. So underneath here is the camshaft. Um, so let's get into that. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say about that.
Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, I can already smell the oil. Ooh, that cork gasket is done. Okay, so we're looking here. So you can see this is the lower part and this is the higher part. So this obviously had more liquid oil on it and this had more sort of splash or um, oil steam. So it's got that sort of black color to it and this has been washed continuously. The gasket has also failed. It is a cork based gasket. It was failed on taking off, not in operation. So that's good. Okay, so now to take off the cam case, there are a few bolts in the back here and there are a few inside there that go through and attach the cam case to the head. So it's just a case of getting those off. And we have to be very aware when we lift the head off because um, uh, the valve pushes, whatever they're called, underneath the cam, they are fitted from the bottom. So as this comes off, they can fall at the bottom, as I learned earlier. So let's get this. Yeah, I believe that's everything. Hmm. It's really good. Okay. So, camshaft, wow, the inside of this motor is really clean, should we check these? Dang, this looks really damn good. Okay, so give it a little bit of an explanation, the cam that ran above here. As its lobes come down, they press on this surface here, and this cap pushes on that um, spring, and that top little nip there is the top of the valve, and then from there it presses down. So that that nipple top there is this, and then as as it presses down, the valve itself in the head presses down and and opens, allowing the gases to flow around it. Cylinder one. Starting at the sloped area. So 
So the whole reason for keeping such good track of where everything came out is because I intend to put it back in exactly the same way. Because I'm not going to be doing hopefully any machining on any of this stuff. I'm hoping that everything is okay. We'll only know once we get the head off. But if everything is okay, clean everything up, give, give everything new seals and put it right back in and it should be okay.